Welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Uh, so I did a little bit off camera. Uh, mostly I just I filled out the last entry of Collectopedia card for not yesterday Yale. Uh, for the Aurora Shelf. So we've now got two completed cards completely. Um, we've got a third of this one. Uh, and then I realized maybe I should wait till I get back in before I fill out all the other cards. So we're gonna do that right now. Um, I also took a look around to see if there's any chests I can find. I suspect the world's gonna change after this chapter. Before we do that, we'll come back to that. I, I wanted to say, oh, there's a... Wait a minute. There's a thing over there. Well, there's a couple things I missed, apparently. Uh, for one, I noticed these eggs over here. Oh. Hello. Surprise. <laughs> I love that this game is so much better at, um... Got an egg. This game is so much better at like surprise and it surprise name monsters than like that's one thing I feel like three didn't do. Like, there's many a lot of times I'm like they're, just, they're gonna jump scare me with the name monster and then they don't. Uh, I also need to change the team up, but I'll do that after this game box for battle. Oh, oh, oh these are Caterpie legs. I'm gonna save my talent art. It's an attack, but it's also a heal. No, oh, I should have saved the burst. That's my bad. I think I'm gonna pair with A and we'll have double healing or something, probably. I've changed my mind about saving this. It doesn't look like we're gonna need it. Lower defense, attacks and change attacks, gains, so chance to be unblockable. He doesn't seem to block that much, so that might not be that helpful. So let's go with Rexes. How do I want to start this? Uh, with the, the power charge break, I guess. Some defense, yeah. Go with you, I guess. Finish it off with a launch. <laughs> wait, wait, did he? Is that a reference to? No, get a load of this is Sonic. <laughs> I had to take a minute there. Grant attack up to all allies. That might be more useful now. I might go with that. And again, the additional reactivation is nice. I think, I'll, I, think I will take that. Uh, Garland him. Everybody. Awaken boost. You don't have an awaken boost, I don't think. Yeah. 
the armor veil. I feel like, like, I know it's probably an engine limitation, but I do have to wonder if we're gonna get, like, a seventh party member as, like, a hero. Because there is room for it on the UI. Oh, shit. My bad. <laughs> I guess we're ending this one early. That is my B. Time. Oh yeah, these eggs look a lot silkier than the other egg than the Aspar eggs do. <laughs> we we finished the entry, so I didn't feel the need to fight the battle. So what's going on over here? There's a ladder I never noticed. Yeah, because we go down that way for story. What's up here? Besides the user channel. Saw another ladder. Yeah, there's a broken ladder here. A most uncommon item. Cylinder time. Can I repair this yet? <laughs> well done. Uh, okay, well, we'll figure that out later. It's looking like a no. Maybe I have to arbitrarily repair it from the top? Be weird, but, yeah. Nice going Could also be a, a thing we repair as part of the story. Because I, I don't know exactly where we're going from here, to be honest. Okay. Figure that out later. Oh, it's probably death. Oh my god, it wasn't death! Uh, so I want to fill out the collectopedia, but before I do that, I think I want to build this rod that was over here. Uh, there's also there's also a number of enemies we should fight as well, because we've got some stuff to fill out the uh, enemy and en en the bestiary. Um, specifically, we've got the life flower. We have to fight a, a Alago. Or maybe even two Alagos, because it looks like there's three other enemies, and I know where one of them is. We're getting close to name monsters here, though. We're very close to finishing Yestergale. Aurora Shelf is massive, but I suspect that's because there's, like, another part of the Aurora Shelf we haven't been to yet. Clickathon genre. A little bit, I guess. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have to go back and fight one of these losers. <laughs> but, yeah. I think a lot of these enemies are part of later areas. Uh, and we're squarely halfway done through the Vermilion Woods, but we could, we have to f go back and fight this Arachno. Yeah, a lot of these enemies might be in part of regions we haven't been to yet. Kevis and Agnes definitely are going to show up later because they're, they're listed here. And I don't think they're listed anywhere else. This might be related to Fog Beasts, but I'm not sure. 
Yeah, I don't I don't know what this one means yet. Anyway, we're gonna go fill out the enemypedia later. Uh, and then I think we're gonna explore that cannon before we finish up the other two side quests we've got. Struck ether mast. Ether, ether mast. Let's get to it. Alright. Yeah, why can't we construct that ladder? I'll have to look into that later. <laughs> oh, interesting. There's stuff on. Oh, it's a good thing we're exploring that next. Oh, these must be treasure locations. There's something over here then. Okay. In the affinity scene, we can't see that yet. That's really nice. I wonder if those are, there's one of those in every zone. Because uh, we haven't seen one in any of the other locations yet. Like, there's, like, a lot more stuff to construct here as well. We can do Abandoned Depot as well as this other cave now, but we're not... I think the, I'm going to wait till the story deems us to be of a more appropriate level. Signal. Something up here. Wild. Makes you wonder if there's a secret passageway that leads here somewhere. Well, all right. Uh, keep on the lookout for that, I guess. Uh, we've got questing to do. Before anything else, we've got an Alago to defeat. I don't think there's any other caves around here. Oh, but we've also got a, a Collectathon to fill out. Because I was avoiding doing that. Alright, two more entries to fill there. Uh, uh, characters. Uh, Glimmer to fill out. Going through Glimmer's arts. I'm really shaping up here. I'm really shaping up here. I'll make good use of this. And then the talent art. I'm really shaping up here. All right, we're gonna get to start working on Shulk again soon. Or again, I mean it is again because I, I I fell out of stuff earlier. But we're gonna get to work on Shulk soon. Uh, Unity pairings. How do I want to do those? Well, let's, let's start with Glimmer. Make duration on debuffs on all enemies tick down twenty five percent slower. Do I have a extends the buff duration for all allies by 25%? It's not stack. That doesn't seem great. Boost allies damage by 20%. Boost enemy block rate by 10%. All allies crit rate by 15% and critical hit damage by 30 percentage points. It's not stack. Hmm. I think I may have paired you with Shulk before, but I like that ability. Two heads are better, than one. better than the debuff one, anyway. launch targets. That was a good one. I'll probably keep that on as part of my permanent team. I've got 
big hopes for you, Rex. Yeah, let's get the attackers together. 10% chance to evade the enemy attack. That doesn't won't slow you down. seem the best. <laughs> Oh, we got the Smash team! <laughs> oh, whoops. Yeah, okay. This will certainly not be nearly as powerful, but hey, whatever. Black Bell, Topple Duration, Battle Tactics. Defender Aggro by 50%. It's armor veil to all allies. Super Smash Bros. Da 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 da. I wonder if I can find that on my sound alerts. <laughs> Damage to aquatic life. Damage up attacking from behind. More blade stones. Uh, but we need something specific, I think, to start upgrading. I think we need to right. We need to fight. Start fighting Agnes. Agnian troops. Adds 15 TP upon own reactivation. The problem is, is that I feel like the Heroic Chain, I mean, I, I guess I'd have to test it. It feels to me as though Heroic Chain is not in addition to the defaults, it's in, it's replacing it, which I don't necessarily love. All right. Um, enemy Pedia time. So we have to return back to that one cave. Uh, but there was a name monster at the entrance, so that shouldn't be take too long. Do you replace the default of Royal that's, that's what I figured, which, like, I think that's not that good unless you which get a really means? good one. Oh, there's a bat here we have to fight, too. Get out of our way. We have the advantage here. Great garlic! The outcome was patently obvious. Yeah, the the just that roll ability but better would be good as well. Right, I think that's everything else in this cave. Oh, there's something in this cave, though. Come here, will you? Yeah, I think I think I would have pair Rex with A. Probably. It's part of my final party. I don't know what I'm gonna do with everyone else, but I like that pairing a lot. <laughs> At last, another city face. <laughs> Smiles awkwardly. <laughs> Say, I've been hearing a chat about a place that survives meat somewhere nearby. It's not that nearby. So we need to turn into a rhino and make a weird noise. Uh, maybe. Wouldn't know anything, would you? Sure do, it's called Colony 9. I can tell you the way. Well now, this must be my lucky name. Your name, my name ain't Reuben. He's not Reuben. He's a spy. Get him. And I think I know my own name at least. Anywho, I'm a metallurgist by trade, and eager to put these sturdy old bones to work again, whatever the task. Animal Zoo race. Ah. I'm not too familiar with that. I don't think. Nothing else here, it seems. All right. I think Enemypedia for now is clear in this area. Yeah, we've got this page, but I suspect that this page is as part of... Oh, yeah! 
I like moused over an area to the, like the whole map to the north, and now I apparently know the location, the the fourth location. I, that feels like a bug to me. <laughs> yeah, I suspect all these enemies are later, are, are a later thing. I think this is all complete for now. Uh, Wikipedia is of course done. For right, exploration, we've got both city survivors here. Right, this isn't uh, the. Yeah, I don't know where these, what these three are. These seven, seven, eight are def <laughs> the imbalance here. Five Kevis and three Agnes enemies. Uh, but then, but the, the Agnians get two named monsters, so maybe maybe they get things better. Yeah, those almost certainly are going to show up later. Alright, that's enough survivors. We've got a couple field crafting left. I suspect that has to be in the areas I can't reach yet, like in the abandoned depot or whatever this place is, and this place, which I know has a chest of some sort. I, I heard it, it was on the radar. In any case, why can't I build this one? I'm gonna have to figure that one out. Um. There's an unknown mass signal in the town. Well, we'll figure that out, I think, next. Um, how else are we doing in the Enemypedia? Right, in Yesteryale, we're missing these two. Oh, that's my favorite color, vermilion. Not sure I remember what color vermilion is. Light Flyer, I think, was in the earlier regions of the area. So we gotta head to early Yesteryale. Should be here. Orange plus red. Oh, he was the red guy yeah. from, uh, v, -V, 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 v Everyone, focus! You ate all that, but I'll you that. Alright, we gotta find one more light flyer. Unfortunately, this seems to be the light flyer spawn place, which means we have to we may have to come back for this next stream. <laughs> Unless I see another one on the way down. Very possible. Why can't I fix you? Oh, it is at the top, isn't it? Yeah, this must be a shortcut from later in the story, then, if I had to guess. Because, yeah, the crafting spot's from up there. Uh, this, this is quite rare. That's unfortunate. But at least it's on our map, so we'll be able to remember once we learn to how to get up here, which... Who knows when that's going to happen. Nice going, smartass. <laughs> God, Glimmer is so angry all the time, and I'm here for it. Yeah, there's the Alago that we need to fight as well. Alright, well, I don't see any more Light Flyers somewhat annoyingly, which does mean that we're gonna have to come back to the Light Flyer, but I do see an Alago. Nice so, defeating that Algo should be really simple. There's no, like, secret cave here, right? Yeah, there's a chest there. Just trying to think how on earth we're going to get up to where we're going. Or to where I want to go. I hope there's a genuine need for this. Alright, 
Alright, we got 60 more points. Now then. Next thing we're gonna explore is most certainly the this place. Well, we can explore here at least. There's like a lot of stuff in this area, but I never actually looked all the way up here. And it looks to me as though there's something so here somewhere. Maybe there's a location underneath this place. There's a ladder there. Can I make it to the water? Nope! <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I'm the water's in the map water. now. Uh, so that, sh that means the chest is up there. Um, does still beg the question of how we get to that location that looks like it's under us. Maybe there's like some sort of cave around here somewhere. There is another question mark there, but I don't know where that would be. Uh, nonetheless, I think we sh we've, we've stalled long enough. Let's go deal with the stuff at this cannon. Um, I'm glad that ether spike was a good was a good build. I think I'm quite happy with that one. I'll come back for that chest once we're high enough level. I think. Although I probably could just sneak in and grab it. Ah, sorry to keep you. We're ready when I, to go whenever. This robot's gonna get wrecked. Um, booting up monitoring applet now. Alright, let's have a quick spa then. Should make for good exercise. Automaton, engage! Yeah, it looks like the DLC still has the, um, the same problem that the base game has with, um, the debuffs being kind of useless. I think more games need to like, like I think the best way to do it would be to have like an HP, every enemy has like an HP bar on debuffs, and so like enemies that are harder to debuff, it takes more attempts, but it will work eventually, guaranteed. What's the good word, Hamel? Refreshing feedback, collecting data, and done. We're good, Chief. Brilliant. Hope we've succeeded at making the thing a, an ounce clever, at least. I have to turn. I am clever enough to destroy all of you. Robot supremacy. Fair wages. Did you get the data you were expecting, Lucille? Yeah, thanks to you and yours. Appreciate the help, Shulk. Not many soldiers could have given it that much of a workout. It was a joy to see. A few more lessons like that, and before we know it, our pupil will be ready for actual development. He's gonna go rogue, isn't he? For sure, using machines like this one to stand in for soldiers in battle would mean a lot fewer injuries. That's right, there's no telling how many lives we'll be able to save by bringing this project to completion. We, like, barely fought these. I got the impression that they didn't use them a whole lot. I can feel the weight of everyone's expectations sitting heavy on my shoulders. How about you? 
Uh, I feel it in my gut. Don't push yourself too hard, you two. We can handle it, no worries. Although it'd be good for morale if you'd come to see how we're doing sometimes. Our star student is bound to enjoy it, too. I will fuck you up next time. I mean... Yeah, essentially, Graffinity Growth. That lets us finish the last playable character before I get to play as them. The sky's the limit for my strength. What do you get? Uh, if an ally is down, has low HP, deal 50% more damage and take 20% less damage. Increases crit rate by 10 percentage points and crit damage by 30. It's alright, <laughs> I guess. Um, damage up to machines. Useful if I know I'm fighting a machine. God damn. Right, right, you have to run up on the outside of this, don't you? It's been a while since I played Xenoblade 1. I'm like, trying to remind myself how exactly you climb up these. Ago, there was an anti-air battery here. Sadly, it's fallen into disrepair. Giant ass anti-air battery. It's so big. This is a good location. Yeah, part part of the problem with debuffs is that enemies that resist debuffs. Oh dear. Uh, enemies that resist debuffs in games. tend to be, like, completely immune, because the odds of rolling a debuff on them are, like, tiny. Okay, so one of these is a named monster. There's another one back here. I'm hoping we'll be safe from combat up here. I think that guy is the same named monster as that was in Xeno the original Xenoblade 1, I think. It's our first secret area. Looking good. Huh? How do I get up there? I'm pretty sure you can climb up to the top of this somehow. Huh? But it's looking like that's a no. Where is the other? It's on the other side of the named monster. Okay. Well, we're just gonna go around you, sir, if you don't mind. The most uncommon item. That's level 40. Over there. Ah, I see it. The content should be worth This is the last chest, too, isn't it? The problem is, is that it doesn't go off in fights that it matters in. And, like, that's the debuff problem. <laughs> Is that debuffs are inherently not useful in JRPGs because they don't go off when you would need them to go off. Hey Kane, how you doing? Alright. This is where we're gonna get to finish My off Glimmer next. Got sharper. My senses got sharper. I'm really shaping up here. All right, and I think for Shulk, uh, deals damage back. Five percent chance is so low, though. We'll go for the counter damage. Another one down. Take heart. <laughs> All right, Glimmer is gonna have an update. <laughs> hey, do you know that skill you upgraded? It's been upgraded. <laughs> Gee, thanks, you don't say. Damage dealt by unity combos. That sounds like it would be busted in the metagame. Exactly. That's the big, that's the debuff problem. 
is that d game developers go, well, if we let debuffs work on bosses, then debuffs become too powerful. But bosses are the only fights where debuffs would be useful. Because, like, most JRPGs, the rando encounters that you find in the ba I mean, not all of them, like, there's some games, like, um... Uh, Persona and Shimagami Tensei, where I think random encounters are not necessarily the easiest all the time. But also, those are the games where buffs and debuffs are very strong. Uh, buffs, for sure. I don't know about debuffs in Persona. I'm doing good. Uh, I took some stuff to my new house that I'm moving into, because I'm moving into my parents' home. Well, which means no more Daisy, but... Uh, yeah, I took some kitchen stuff, mostly. That's going to be going on for the next couple weeks. I need to get internet, and... I need to get internet and water set up there as well. I've already got power and gas. Yeah, cannon battery done. I swear you used to be able to go up to the top floor of this in the original, but maybe I'm misremembering. Exactly. The, the problem is that random encounters are... And this is generally just because they're not supposed to be the hardest things in the world. They're supposed to be there for you to gain experience points, which is a whole other issue with JRPGs. But, uh, it's like, that that's a separate issue that we're not talking about today. Um, but the primary issue would, is that because those encounters tend to be not very difficult or very long, you end up not spending a lot of time in them. And as a result, debuffs don't find their use outside of boss fights. We'll get this done in no time. Huh. I wonder if this map is going to change later. Art unlock kit. Do I want that on next? Is an excellent question. Who do I want to unlock arts on next? I've already got it on you. I guess next, a good option for next would be you. So you get more options. I'll keep on pressing on. Exactly. That's why I think it would be useful to have, like, an HP bar on debuffs that you have to work through. And so, like, really broken stat debuffs can have a uh, higher resistance. So that you might maybe only get them every so often. Over an AoE. 3% short chance to ignore defense. Sure. Well, set of three. Yeah, I've got that as well, but it looks of it. Almost. Tactics, only one. Tactics during chain attacks gain 100% chance to bypass defense. For now, I think that might be more useful than Matthew's. 10% uh, chance to grant power charge while evading. Ooh, that sounds like it would be really good in Shulk. That's gonna be fun. I, I need to remember that that exists when, when I get a, a third slot in Shulk. In the meantime, unless I'm fighting an enemy that I know blocks a lot, I think it would be good to get Tactics 1 on you. 100% chance to bypass defense. I think I'm more inclined to pick to use you when you come up for that then. <sighs> All right, what else are we looking at on this map? There's probably another relic up here. Oh yeah, this must be, this must lead to the next area. Okay. Yeah, this must be a shortcut back from the, the next area of the game, Tepper Hill. 
Where'd the cave go? This, I'm still a little bit unsure of how to get to. Nice going, smart ass. <laughs> is so angry it's great yeah, wherever this is it's above me oh there's a hole up there interesting and intriguing this feels like we're gonna make a ladder here later but not right now which I'm okay with personally um so that leaves... I think there's one question mark area left. Yeah, for the time being. <laughs> Completely unprompted and called for it. It was so good. Oh no, this is another side quest. <laughs> okay, I want to look into this question mark. I feel like it must be under the village somewhere. Made it. It, that was absolutely hilarious. Huh? Oh, maybe this is a location that shows up later in the game. Huh? That could be it. Uh-oh. It begins. Huh? Axel. Don't worry, Finley. We'll bring him back. Just wait. Okay, it's a promise. Huh. Yeah. Uh, Lucille has the new thing to talk to? God. I really appreciate that you've been chatting with my brother. The little scamp's really starting to come out of his shell lately. And a scamp, eh? Almost sounds like he's your kid or something. Well, he is, essentially. I made him into what he is today. If that's not being a parental figure, I don't know what is. He's an adorable little munchkin, even when he does get on my nerves. He, mu he must know the feeling, no? <laughs> Old ether furnace. Oh my god. Fan service to this thing? This contraption's caught your eye, has it? Ah, yes. Someone mentioned before that it's not in working order. I was just thinking, maybe if we replaced a few of the, the parts, it might be possible to get it running again. Now that you mention it, if we got this thing working again, we'd be able to pr process gems to a higher degree of purity. Oh, they do go up to level 10 in this game. If we could incorporate the tech into our portable version, it might be a huge step, step up for us. Can't knock a good gen set up when you're in a scrap. If we can get him powered up, I say we go for it. Agreed. Given the opportunity, it would be a good investment of our time. Shall we give it a go, then? Yes, sir. I don't see anything immediately wrong with it from the exterior. We could start by replacing some of the internal mechanisms. It might be the heat regulators that's malfunctioning. It's what raises the gem purity. I see your point. Let's look into it. Derelict Ether Furnace. Oh no, it's one of these quests, isn't it? Hmm. What was it now? No. Magnet clay. Am I using magnet clay for anything? No, I've I've fully magnet clayed out. Alright! Was it now? Nothing. Seems those weren't the faulty parts. Let's see what else could be the cause. Hmm. What was it now? Fluid cranker. All right. Well, I can get this going together off screen. Fluid cranker. Magnet clay. Well, now I don't have magnet clay. God damn. 
That that's an off-screen quest, I think. It isn't a bar fun quest. That's almost worse though. <laughs> Cause it's the it's it's a bar filling quest but with fundamental differences. Welcome back, Kairu. Preparations are impeccable, shan't we proceed? Great, then let's begin. Mitsu will pose you questions. Choose the right answer from the options you are given. Perfect dexterity. Uh, what is affected by dexterity? That's accuracy. Mia Child's play next. What initiates a unity combo? Uh, use a special on a uh, launched foe. No sweat. I don't remember if it was like, is it a special? Uh, two hits with 50% crit rate gives... Uh, fuck. Probability math. <laughs> Is it 75%? At least one. Yeah, because it's 50% for the first crit. And there's like an additional... Hold on. Is it 50% of... Because you also have to add the probability that it's that you're going to get two crits. Uh, which is, I think, where that 25% comes from. I, I could have mathed this out in my head, I think. I think that's it. Which isn't an enemy type. Liberator? Uh, I do believe this is the answer. I, I didn't get a sound for that one. Turk oh, Turkin is an enemy type. God damn it. Okay. What can stop a foe's initiative art? Uh, an Ottawa? Turkin are avians. That, that tripped me up, because I was like, Liberator? We don't fight those in this game. Uh, it's auto-attack, right? I mean, I think it's a couple things, but of this list, I think auto-attack does it. Oh, wait. Stop while it's in progress? Stop as in prevent it from... Yeah, like, that, this, is, this is a bad question. Because if you auto-attack before they do the initiative, like, to initiate battle, it stops the art. But, if you're talking about interrupting it, it would be knockback. Exactly! Ah, well. He didn't do too bad. Be sure to go over the material afterwards. Oh god damn it, don't do it again. Oh, did we not? Ugh. Some of those questions are rude. <laughs> Time for the next lesson then. Prepare you for real combat. We'll be staging a mock battle. Strict a panacea, if I may be so bold. What is it? A do I get something for doing that correctly? If it please you, methinks it may be beneficial to have young Master Matthew and his troop participate in this trial. Huh, us? Indeed, nothing would please me more than to be allowed to practice against mine ultimate betters. What do you say, Matthew? I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> ha, well, fine. If you wanna, gotta respect your enthusiasm. Yeah, but they're not an enemy type, because you don't fight them. That, that, one, that one's rude, and I think the... The enemy art is also rude. Because if you auto attack the enemy before the battle starts, they don't do their uh, initiative art. Which is the same thing as interrupt, like uh, stopping it. But it's not the same thing as interrupting it, which is what the question was really asking. I think it was worded poorly. I think those two were both worded poorly, but. 
I'm glad I caught that. I'm like, wait, what do they mean by stop? I knew I could count on you, young master. I owe you more than I could say. We have to fight against Matthew's bunch? This is also why it exists as an enemy type, because we're fighting them. This is not what I was expecting when I got up this morning. Might as well. I'll stage at the observation deck near Colony 9, same as usual. Now gear up and get over there. The observation deck? Oh, right, opposite that place. New plan. Yeah, I'm curious. I'm curious how we're gonna get over here. I feel like this I feel like the world's gonna change because there's definitely a hole that goes up here, but like no map area seems to lead here. But not the date spot. Wait, we got. Hold on, we got Hamill's conversation. Why is it moving so erratically? Ugh. Why is that happening? I think the problem might lie in your friend, in the friend or fro foe recognition array. Huh? Well, considering how when we fought it, the target was set to itself and not us. Ah, I get it. Thank. You. It's a big help. Yeah, no problem. I'm glad I could be of use. You see, it was shooting itself. You initiated its self-destruct sequence. This is another one. This must be a location later, as well. Which is what this may be, too, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, maybe that's why they're grayed out. They're grayed out because they appear later. Made it. You lot ready? Ma'am, my arteries throb with anticipation. I'm good to go whenever. Ditto. Come on then, give us your best shot. No need to hold back on our account. Those words to me, my very words, young master. I intend to demonstrate to you without fail the flawless precision of aim that won me the top ranking in the city's marksmanship. Yeah, yeah, that's enough chatter now. I swear to God, he's related to the the, the one Romeo and Juliet reference guy. Flinka, could you be the ref? Step in when you feel everyone's had enough. On it. Right, I need to give you a... English accent. <laughs> All units to arms. Battle start. Oh God, I'm dying. I got a healer somewhere. Put it down, Genus. Yeah. There, he's a lot. I think I read that before, but. <laughs> I, I have new I have new thing to say about it. Like 
Oh, like, what is gold? Never mind. <laughs> it's not worth it. That's enough. Please, put away your weapons. My word! Well done, young master. We have been well and truly bested. Yeah, do you not sure know what you're doing? Ow. You guys did a good job? You can keep up with, you keep up with that training and you'll come on your come into your own soon enough. Words of praise from the young master's lips. Now I can die happy, okay chill. That's it for today's training. Recruits dismissed. Heartfelt thanks for your instructor. Good job, guys. Louis, you stay. Ugh. You're hurt, aren't you, Louis? And not from the mock battle before that. You can't hide it from me. <laughs> I've I've lost my British, I'm sorry. Uh Yesterday's training, I'd wager. Why'd you keep it, Mum? Why'd you keep Mum? Oh my god, that's a weird exp I mean I get I get where it's coming from, but I've that's I've never heard that one. Well I don't want the others to think I'm holding them back. The British debuff has been cleansed. I understand the feeling of wanting to do everything you can, even at the cost of aggravating your injuries. That's why I didn't stop the fight. If this is the last time I'll overlook this recklessness from you. Clear? My apologies, ma'am. And just so with Crystal, it's got nothing to do with being a citizen or a liberator. If you're fighting with us, you're a friend. I hope you can remember that. I will. Oh, um, and thank you. It's not every day somebody can calls me their friend. Gimma? Can I trouble you f for some healing? Panacea's parents were caring to a fault and beloved by many. That's cool. So she gets that from emulating her old folks, eh? She can s seem intimidating at first, but she's very sympathetic to those around her. That, and she makes a terrific leader. She may one day lead the liberators herself the occasion calls for it. That time comes. I hope you'll support her in my stead, Matthew. Uh, Chulk, you want to cut it out with the ominous remarks? I completely flubbed that voice line. Just know I'll be counting on you. I can't do Matthew's accent. Okay. Go on then, if that time comes. Alright, I think that's the last quest I can do without extensive grinding. Where's that hole go? It almost seems like somewhere behind this wall is gonna be a cave that I can enter into at some point. Treasure. Nice. Okay. Is there something here? That, or we can... This leads there, and we can get up here eventually. Alright, uh, I guess it's time to progress the plot. Yeah, these, these, these grayed out ones must mean that they're not available yet. Maybe this is even how we enter the new area. Alright. Uh, yeah, we've got... The last relic might be in this cave, actually. Oh. Uh. Based on this map, this is actually how we get to the, the next location. Okay. Then it's probably this. That's what I was thinking, too. But, this one is grayed out. And there's nothing I can see there. 
And this one is also grayed out, and it looks like there's a spot for a building where this one is. And we already know that uh, Riku's shop is, I think, a location or a landmark that was not there originally. Oh, there's another one here. Unknown mass signal. Yeah, Riku's workshop. Can't be a landmark, because we've already got all the landmarks. Yeah, I think some of these must be hit locations that are going to be crafting locations later. Because the other thing is, is that if it was a height difference thing, it would already be on the map. And we know that because of... We, we re remember there was a named monster that showed up on the map earlier. Young Master Matthew! You bring good tidings, I hope. Rest assured, my gratitude has not ebbed one iota since last we spoke. Upon my very soul, I swear this debt shall be repaid in full. Uh, oh, yeah? Uh, all right, then. The strength knows no bounds, young Master Matthew. Yet y do you not find mine own skills, too, worthy of praise? No. I, I guess, yeah. You're better than I expected. Yes, yes, I knew it. And may the sapling of my strength continue to grow under the glow of your esteemed tutelage. If thine enemy's guard holds strong, look to circumvent their stout defense. Let the position of attack be thy sword. Strike with the enemy is weak, for such is the fundamental tenet of battle. Or so I have paraphrased from the textbook. I shall now commit it to memory by reciting it 100 times. Is that actually going to help? Ah, Matthew, thanks for tra the training back there. Awesome how you jumped in like that. It really spiced up the session. Yeah, guess I have my moments. I'll try to stick it out longer next time. You just wait for the Lottie Mark II. Alright. Well, unless we mysteriously picked up some items to fix... One, uh, to try one of these things. Hmm. What was it now? Yeah, we're just missing magnet clay. And fluid crankers. Okay. I guess I need to get five fluid crankers. Okay. Yeah. I, I've never liked those quests. They're they they're the worst. <laughs> we have to collect a bunch of a thing. Oh, before we go to accessories, sapphire, boost damage, heavy enemy in battle, and. Eh. Alright. Get Shulk's affinity growth done. Never mind, we did not get any affinity growth. Let's continue the story. <laughs> <laughs> 